With the kickoff of the 2019 Paris Air Show, here are great air show moments in GE Aviation history. 1953. GE was front and center for the 1953 Paris Air Show. It was the year of the hot rod fighter jet, and the star of the show was the F-86 Sabre, powered by GE's J-47 engine. The J-47 went on to be the most produced jet engine in history, with more than 35,000 made over a 10-year period and put GE on the roadmap to be one of the great fighter engine companies of all time. 1969. 16 years later, at the 1969 Paris Air Show, the future of commercial airlines shined bright. Iconic aircraft such as the Boeing 747 and Concorde made their grand debut. GE didn't have an engine application for either of these aircraft at the show, so why was this such a pivotal show for the company? GE Vice President Gerhard Newman and his leadership group had just won a critical order from the KSSU consortium to power the DC-10 with the CF-6-50. It started a chain reaction. It helped GE land the CF-6 on a new platform, the Airbus A300. Even more critical, GE and Snecma built rapport at the 1969 show, and a year later, the two companies worked out a deal to jointly develop an engine together. They would go on to form CFM International, and eventually would go on to launch the legacy of the CFM-56, the world's best-selling commercial engine that now has more than 1 billion hours of service. 2002. At the 2002 Farnborough Air Show, GE had an opportunity to really demonstrate the extraordinary growth and experience in the commercial market. You had the GE90-115B. You had the new GP7200 engine, which GE developed with Pratt & Whitney. You had enhanced versions of the CF-6 and the CFM-56 engines. And you also had the major development of our regional jet engine, the CF-34. 2008. The buzz leading into the 2008 Farnborough Air Show was all about the engines that would power the next generation narrowbody aircraft. Pratt & Whitney came out strong with its geared turbofan, but CFM International would be quiet no longer. Not only would CFM announce the launch of its new LEAP engine, but the joint partnership would be extended all the way to 2040. This was a landmark day in the history of GE Aviation because the LEAP engine would go on to become the fastest selling commercial engine in aviation history.